Uh, I want to ask you now about Partygate. Lots of people talking about what's going on within the Conservatives, question marks about whether or not perhaps there might be a vote of no confidence next week uh, for Boris Johnson. But the stark reality is, isn't it, given that these questionnaires have now been handed to the leader and the deputy leader of your party, that you could be facing uh, bids for a new leader. They've both said that they will resign if they are found to have breached COVID rules. How worried are you about that? Uh, well, they have integrity at their heart, and that's why they've said they would uh, resign. Keir Starmer is not doing this for anything other than protecting his own personal integrity and his own credibility. That's what he said he would do. The Prime Minister should have resigned by now. We're now a country who is a government that's paralysed by this uh, issue with a Prime Minister that's clinging on while his backbenchers are fighting with each other and while his ministers uh, are trying to persuade them to continue to support him. We have a cost-of-living uh, crisis. We have the uh, airline industry uh, and travel disruptions that we've just uh, spoken about. So something has to be done here in order to try and get the government back on track and it's completely paralysed uh, by this issue. Um, I don't think there's any false equivalence we should be creating here in terms of what happened uh, and the accusations that happened in Durham with uh, industrial skill party in Downing Street with an ethics advisor, the government's own ethics advisor saying that the Prime Minister has to explain why he's not um, ridiculed the ministerial code, not broken uh, the ministerial code. This has now uh, paralysed the entirety of government for four or five months now and the only way that it's going to become back to operating as a government and get back to the day job as if the Prime Minister does the decent thing. It looks as if he will have to be forced out, whereas uh, Keir Starmer and Angela Lane have done the, the decent thing with integrity at his heart and said if they are given a fine, uh, they will stand down and that's the right thing to do.